Welcome to Capital Hill Mixtape, presented by RIAA. I'm your host, Tom Cleese. And I'm very excited today to be joined by Florida Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy. She hasn't been in the House of Representatives that long, but she's already cultivated an incredible reputation for being somebody who can work across the aisle, get things done, and to be a proven leader. Thank you so much for being with us today. Great to be with you, Tom. Uh, Congresswoman, can you just start by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got into public service? And what were the songs that you were listening to when you first made that decision to, to get into the public sphere? Well, so I know I'm in my fourth year in Congress, but I still consider myself to be a patriot, not necessarily a politician. And the reason is that I love this country. My family was escaping communism in uh, Vietnam and after the end of the Vietnam War when uh, the U.S. Navy rescued our boat when we ran out of fuel at sea. And then America gave me an opportunity at the American Dream. We relocated to Virginia where I grew up, had access to quality public education and became the first woman in my family to go to college. Um, I, I owe my life to this country um, and just am deeply, deeply patriotic. It's a reason why after 9-11, I decided to leave my private sector job and go work at uh, the Department of Defense. And it's also the reason why in 2016, when I had relocated to uh, Central Florida, was back in the private sector, had two jobs, was working in investments and teaching um, at a local college, and two kids under the age of five, um, and heard the rhetoric that was going on um, in this country and just thought, you know, this doesn't comport with an America I know. And then on June 12th um, of 2016, a gunman walked into a nightclub in my community and took the lives of 49 innocent individuals. And the person representing us took a check from the NRA two days later. And I thought to myself, you know, we can't live to the fullest potential of this country and we can't provide a shot at that American dream that I had if we don't change the kinds of people we send to Washington. So I decided to run for Congress. Um, I ran a four month campaign and unseated a 24 year incumbent. And so I, 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 I know it probably seems odd, but because I grew up in Virginia, I'm a country music lover. And um, I think Only in America by Brooks and Dunn is kind of the, the song that captures sort of my story in a lot of ways. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to think in 2016, because I was running a four month campaign and my campaign manager, who's now my chief of staff, drove this big Ford 150, I think, pickup truck. That song that we we played for four months straight was Dirt On My Boots because we were in every single corner of our district, um, just campaigning our hearts out, trying to do a grassroots effort um, to elect, um, eventually successfully elect the first Vietnamese American woman to Congress. That's so incredible. I love hearing those stories about actually being on the campaign trail and actually going and getting that dirt on your boots and knocking on those doors. Uh, yeah. So now you are a member of Congress, um, in you know, two of probably the most uh, incredibly difficult and complex Congresses with all of these issues going on. What's your pump up jam? What do you listen to before the floor of the house or before you do one of these major events where everyone's looking at you? You know, and this, this is a holdover from when I uh, first ran for Congress, but um, I worked at the Department of Defense um, and actually got a start um, in the U.S. Navy on the U.S. Navy staff, um, the Chief of Naval Operations staff. Um, so my pump-up song is "Danger Zone" by Kenny Long, and um, we used to play it before I did debates, um, before I did TV appearances, um, and it's still that pump-up song of you know. Um, kind of it reminds me of my navy days you know working on the staff and it also just has great energy there's no way we can get you to to sing danger zone can we <laughs> there's absolutely no way you know the i i am tone deaf so while i enjoy a wide range of music i can't sing for the life of me okay well we're moving right along then um i guess just the the last thing i want to ask you is you know as you see a whole new generation of people who are 
thinking about making the decision that you did to get into public service, is there a like a political song that, that you know made you first start thinking about getting into activism or one that you think that the kids today should be listening to? My walkout song the night that I won um, my first election um, was the song. And I think it is a great song for the moment that women are having in politics today. And it's Alicia Keys, This Girl is on Fire. And women are discovering their voice and using it um, and to great effect, whether it's the mom's demand action on gun safety, or it is, you know, uh, women who are running for the first time, or the 2018 where we elected a historic number of women to Congress, or the recently um, announced vice president uh, candidate who is a woman. Um, women are having a moment. We are at least half of this population um, and we are claiming our space and our voice in American politics. And I think it's awesome. So this girl is on fire. Before we go, is there anything you'd like to tell us about what you're working on right now or anything you'd like to plug? Well, right now, it's just making sure that we get COVID resources out to our communities. Our pathway out of this crisis is going to be through science and medicine. And until we get to that place, we need to make sure that we are providing the American people the support they need to make it through a very difficult time. And so that is my um, main focus right now is just making sure the American people um, make it through this public health crisis and economic crisis um, as best as we can, because after all, we're all in this together. Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us for Capital Mixtape. I'm Tom and I'll see you again soon.